check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Thanksgiving in no time. So I thought I'd make a little bit of a, like a peach cobbler pie type thing. But needless to say, it's probably gonna be more like a pie. Um, I got some nectarines and they were in the freezer cause I had gotten them in the, you know, earlier. And I got them and I peeled them. Well, I didn't peel them, but I hulled them, took out the hulls, put them in the freezer. And I'm going to make something like a peach pie type thing. So, I'm gonna take them and dump them in a, in a bowl. And I still have some juice left in this bowl. I'm gonna hold on to it for a minute just to see if I need any more liquid. Probably not. So I'm going to get my measuring spoons out and I'm gonna put in a half teaspoon of ginger. And I have half cup of white sugar. Let me lower you so you can see. And I have a whole cup of brown sugar. Okay. I got a little pumpkin pie spice because that kind of takes the place of cinnamon and all that other stuff. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little on there and a little vanilla, about a half a teaspoon. Okay. And I have some cornstarch, because of course you're gonna need a thickener. Got my little spoon, you little thing. And of course, it's gonna be sort of like a, sort of like a cobbler type thing, but I'm gonna put a pie crust on top cause that's what I got here in the house. And I'm going to take a, uh, I used all my measuring spoons. So I'll just take this one and I will add two. And that's a little thickener. And I've already taken the, um, the butter and heated it up in my casserole dish. Ow, still a little bit warm. I'm gonna toss that in. So all the makings of a pie. So I'm just gonna jump, um, toss this into my pie pan, my um, casserole dish. There you go. Toss it all in there. And I got a pie crust. It's been thawing out. It was in the freezer. Cause I had bought a cup, bought a pack of two 
and I was like, I need to use that thing. And what better way to do something, you know, get ready for Thanksgiving. I mean, we're probably gonna eat this right away. But needless to say, it's still, you know, something that you can have if you wanted something for Thanksgiving. Something, something to think about. Very easy. So I'm just throwing it over the top. And of course, I gotta put a couple of slits in there. You know, let, it, let a little air escape. And that's pretty much it. Now stick it in the oven on 375 and about halfway through uh, before the crust gets all, you know, crusty and everything, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of melted butter. Uh, some people use egg whites or, oh, you know, an egg, but I don't want to do that. So. There you go, we're sticking it in the oven. It should cook about, I'd say about a half hour or so, maybe a little bit more. Anyway. Should be good with some ice cream, what you think? I think so. All right, we'll come back when it's, when it's almost done. Okay, let's peek at it and see what's going on. It's been a little bit. Ooh, look at that. It's gonna be juicy. All righty. We'll let it cook some more. I just put a little butter on top to let it get a little lubrication on there and see if it crusts up real good. Let's hope so. Well, it is done. Got a little juicy in there. So we can't wait to put some in a bowl with some ice cream or some Cool Whip. That should be real soothing. Got some chicken tenderloins in a pan. Just put a little bit of seasoning in them and with some butter and a little olive oil. And uh, I guess I used, what, a little lemon pepper, a little bit of um, complete seasoning. And I'm just trying to get them cooked. And I think I'm going to just make like a chicken and rice casserole. So let's get this chicken done. Hey, I'm back. So my chicken kind of got done. Well, it got most of the way done. Didn't turn brown or anything because I didn't really want it to because I, I wanted it to like get tender and steam out. And what I did was I put a pack of this long grain and wild rice and a, and a cup of regular rice in, in there. And I put in some green, yellow, and orange peppers with my water and of course wouldn't be my chicken dish without a tablespoon of this and now I'm gonna let the rice cook turn it down to medium and let her go and I'm waiting on Mr. Ron to come home with the mixed vegetables. So, mixed vegetables are done. Chicken and rice is done. Oh, man. And it's tasting really good. I did well on the seasoning this time. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> but, this is my plate and I'm getting ready to get it down. He's going in. What you guys say, Mr. Neal? Girl, I've been waiting, waiting on this for a long time. See that? See that? See that? See that goodness? There ain't nothing but goodness. And here I went and got the, uh... oh yeah. Here it is. Oh, 
here. You take it. Ain't nobody asking for any instructions. I know. One more scoop. One more scoop. I've been here. Because he likes ice cream. Okay. Okay. That one. Here's my spoon. We're going in, family. We're going in. We're going in. Get ready? Right mmm. Mm-hmm. Great job, babe. Great job. Hi there. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos, commenting, liking, sharing. And I encourage you to join. What I need for you to do is subscribe to my channel. We like to do all kinds of good things here. And we appreciate you. We love you. Know that you're loved today. And always, God loves you and so do I.